Hey everyone, it's Kim here from Good Games Publishing. And Chris, designer of Guildmaster. And we're going to show you a two-player game of Guildmaster and walk you through some of the um, some of the way it works and you'll get to see what um, Guildmaster feels like at two players. So, uh, I'll go down and have a look at my guild here. Actually, no, sorry, I'll have a quick look at the board. So we've got the board set up, the upgrades all set up over here, ready to purchase later on. Round track, build a cost track. We've got some face down adapt piles. Now we can't easily do what we need to do in Tabletopia, so we've kept the piles actually off the deck, but normally they'd be, sorry, we've kept them off the board. Normally they'd be sitting under here and these will go flip face up, but it gets fiddly. So they're normally on the board, just remember that. And then we've got um, so contract spots here, but we don't fill these out until we've actually selected our starting cards. Uh, and we'll do that in a second. So having a look down at our stuff, you can see I've got five private contracts that I've selected and a team here of four different novice adventurers. Uh, and I'll just walk you through what they are now. So I've got uh, Ash the Thief, who in the plot phase can take one coin from each other guild. Now it's only two players, so I'm getting one coin out of that, but it's still a direct uh, direct swing of uh, two coins each turn. But yep. That, that's triggered. Uh, and she's pretty good at, at Guile. Then I've got Reuben the Squire, uh, he's got a little bit of might skill, a little bit of guile, so he could team up with Esh to do some guilely things. I've got Hazen, no nobility, again with Hazen, but a little bit of arcane and some charm. And Druv the Curse, one of my favorites. Uh, he's three in arcane, and his ability is that uh, if he completes a contract alone, he gets an extra two coin, which I'll be hoping to use as much as possible throughout the game. Chris has got a similar person to that. Let's have a look at his stuff. All right. So I have Soleil, the Pilgrim, who has the same ability as Struve, but um, she has three in spirit. Um, next, I have Nairi, the Orphan. Uh, her ability lets me um, basically, on any half moon, uh, if, I, if I recruit an adventurer and the adventurer that I'm trying to recruit is gone, I still get to recruit the next face down card. So it guarantees that I get to recruit someone. Very um, cool on half moons. Uh, yep. I have Khan the guard uh, who can help out Nairi or um, offer a little bit of might and Kaysan the highborn who can help out Soleil or do. Um, he also has some charm which we can use. He's a very charming fella. All right. He's very charming. Cool. So we know what we're good at. Um, I'm, as you can see, I'm, I'm best at Arcane and second best at Guile with those two characters and Chris is best at best at spirit and second best at logic and we both overlap in might and charm so you might expect us to contest that but also be looking to race towards getting the the fifth and sixth skills where we know the other person doesn't have anything there and try and kind of secure that skill for ourselves because we, yep. don't, we don't want to be kind of overlapping too much ideally in this <laughs> ideally yeah although you might take a strategy where you did want to be doing that and just bully your way through but let's see yeah we'll see what happens yeah all right, so we're at the point now where we, we know what each other's strengths are. Uh, in addition to that, we each have a reroll ability. I've chosen, because I am I like to <laughs> I like to roll dice and get lucky, um, I've got the, the two reroll side of the tower. Chris is going for the early game certainty of a fix to a six on his one. So when he rolls any kind of spirit um, skill check, he'll be able to fix one of his dice to a six. I'll be able to roll to a mine, which I'm hoping by the end of the game will start to swing my way um, and help things out. We'll see what happens. Um, cool. All right. So Chris can actually see my board, so I'll hide that. Now he can't see my board. Doesn't know what I'm doing. And what so we're doing I... here is choosing two contracts. One of them we're going to put face down on the main board and they'll become contracts that any of us can attempt throughout the next few turns and the other one we're going to keep as a private contract um, and that will be face down near our own boards and we'll be able to attempt that if we want to when we wander or as a as a kind of a intentional wandering order later on so these are my best two options
I've made my choices. I'm going to put this one out. Let me draw two more contracts. Uh, we, shuffle the, we shuffle the excess back in first, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, put your excess back in. So this means that the um, start of the game, you get a little bit of control over what comes out uh, on the board. So you get to control at least one of the things you, you, you think you've got a good chance of doing. Of course, some other people may have a chance of doing that as well. So you gotta, you gotta be careful about that. Okay, uh, I think we're now ready to flip everything. Yep. All right. Cool. So now we're ready to. That is a nice board for you. Effectively start the game. Yep. Is it? That is a good board for me. You've still got remove curse, which is good because you're best at that. And the yep. rest is kind of my excellent. only option for the first round, but it's a good option. It is a good one. And I have no spirit, so you're pretty safe. You can do them whatever order you like. Um, all right, and then looking at the adventurers here, um, time and the cleric is strong in both of your main skills. So that's a good one if you want to go deeper in the skills, but you might want to widen out and go for Nindir. Who... Yeah, they're both kind of good for me. Yeah. Timon would be an interesting for me, an interesting one for me to get because straight away I start to push back at you on your two best skills. That's true. <laughs> so it would be an aggressive move if I went go for him, but uh -huh. let's see what happens. But will you? And will I? I don't know. <laughs> so you've got Nairi, who you're possibly thinking if you use Nairi and you miss out, then she can at least get something random. So I've got to think about what you do with that. Five and seven. All right, I'm going to start planning. So normally we have a plot phase at the beginning, but there are no characters with plot abilities in the first round of the game. So we're skipping the plot phase and going straight to the order phase now. As you can see, our boards here are, are hidden. Uh, now normally in the game, we'd have a screen up around our boards, the fantastic uh, four different colored guild screens that we have. But for the sake of this game, we've just, just got hidden screens here. I'm ready when you are. I'm putting an order card down on my adventure in this order spot. Um, you've got those 13 order cards in your hand, so you can use those to tell your team which objective that they're going to go for. Uh, and I'm going to send this team off to do something different. That's a smart player. Okay, I'm ready, Chris. Cool, let's do it. All right, so we both reveal. Now we can have a look at what we're going for each. I'm going for builders in order slot one, and Chris is going for adventurer A, Timon, as I suspected he might, in order slot one uh -huh. as well. Um, and then in order two, I'm going for contract three here. And you were going for contract two, which is no real great surprise either. All right, let's yep. see how this pans out. So I'm going to go to builders now. Now I'm, I've got seven money on my builder order, so I can afford to buy two guys for a total of six. Two builders. 
uh, keep one, chuck the rest out. And I'm going to go for a bar. Oops, I always seem to have a bar over here. So I would have bought this one down here. You can get three fame for that. Yep. And that means I I'm will... going to get four income a turn. Cool. And I will buy, well, I will recruit Adventure A, which also gives me three fame. Cool. Um, and it also means uh, we just flip our order cards down so we know in the first order we're all done and if we need to look at what those orders were again we can uh, now we go to order space two and chris is going first in this instance because he has contract two and when we're resolving all of these we start with doing builders first then adventure <coughs> recruitment then contra contract um, yep. completion as well so chris gets to attempt Two first so one. I have three spirit dice going for contract two, where I need 12. I uh, also have my sanctum, and I can turn one dice into a six. Um, and because I'm attempting the contract with Soleil alone, if I complete it, I get an extra two coin. Yeah. Um, so I have a lot of a lot riding on this. You need 12. It's still a bit tough, but let's see how it goes. Okay, right, you got roll. it straight up. Yeah. Look at that, six, six, five. Yeah, yeah strong. All right, so I, first I get the uh, rewards at the top right of the card, so I get three coin. And I get three fame. And this contract has a bonus effect, which happens straight away. So I can discard a novice from my guild to reveal the bottom card of an, of an adept deck and recruit that adept for free. Do not gain their fame. Uh, so I'll reveal Paul Kaysen here. So charming, but so useless in this case. And I'll discard him over there and draw an added card. And I'll draw one from this deck. And that is pretty awesome. <laughs> For your first time. Uh, looks like Kaysen was Alyssa all along. Um, nice. All right. Cool. So now I have two adepts at the end of my first turn. Very happy with that. So you should be. Um, right. The skills match too. Very nice. Yeah, it's a good one for you. All right, and I have uh, Dr Druv here with three dice going for the magic show. So only 10. So look, and I have the two rerolls as well. So I've got three dice here. Oh, sorry, going for the potion on our contract three. So I need a seven for that. Uh, just check. Oh, contract three, sorry, magic shows later in my mind, yeah. So uh, just before you do that, um, I'll draw a contract to draw um, for one of these decks, and I think I might go with Heroic first because I've hired twice and you haven't hired anything yet, so chances are I might be able to do that, but I don't think you can. Seems good. All right, so I've got um, three dice going for seven. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Shall I re-roll those, Chris? Shall I re-roll them? 18. Uh, I feel like you should. Oh, yeah. I think it does, doesn't make a difference. You can't get less than a 7. Rerolling two of those. Yes. Okay. Very nice. So I'm going to brew a potion. I'm going to uh, go and grab one of these neutral dice. And I'm going to roll that. Okay, ready? Roll. Come on, 6. Oh, yeah, it's four sixes, Chris. <laughs> that is four sixes. Can you deal with that? Um, all right. Now I also get uh, two coins. See, this is why Kim gets the rerolls because <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Apparently, I shouldn't get them because I don't seem to need them. But anyway, uh -huh. uh, all right. And I get two fame as well. Yep. And I get two extra coins through Druv's ability. Do you remember to do that as well, Chris? I have now. All right. Okay, so that's the um, the end of round one. So we do the reset phase now. Uh, we get our what's the first step of the reset phase, Chris? Income. So you get your four coin. Mm -hmm. I'll grab my two. We 
we reset things on the board. So the builder cost goes down again. The moon token moves forward and flips over. And anything that's face down on the board now gets flipped face up. Sweet. Ooh. Ooh, there's an event. I'll read that one out. Oh, have a look. Sure. The cost of each builder is decreased by one coin. Interesting. Very nice. Very, very nice. So with and event... Still a very nice board for you. Yeah, it's good for me, no doubt. Lots and lots of guile. I'm not... That's not my main thing, guile, but this will be an interesting turn. Um, yeah. So just to explain to people, events are active when they're face up on the board. As soon as that event, uh, the contract that has that event on it has been completed, the event is turned off, it's finished, it's over. So you can kind of plan around that. So for example, it's risky if you're gonna go and get higher builders in the second order space, this might be gone by that time, in which case they're not cheaper. Uh, now, if I was poor and I could do that, I, I may want to hold off and not do it so that I could go and recruit builders at a lower cost first. Uh, there's lots of, a few things to think about there. All right, so there's plenty of good stuff for me to get here now. What I do know is that you managed to nab a couple of guile. So in theory, I think you're probably not likely to have a shot at either of these two ones. You're certainly not going to go that with Guile, but you could, in theory, get cheeky and go for this one with Guile. I could. It would be very cheeky, but I could. It would be cheeky, but the other thing is I don't think you can effectively do that yet. What did you get? You got Tymon, who... I got this uh, Twin Guile. Twin Guile. And more in spirit, right? Yep. Uh, and what, who did you recruit? Tymon? Tymon, with three in spirit and two in logic. So from memory, you've got five logic dice now. Which uh, Five logic, but no way to utilize it without upgrading my mess hall first. That's right. So it's a very long shot for you to go for that, and I know that. So this is likely to stick around unless I was going to attempt it, but I also don't have a way of really doing that unless I rolled 18 and three dice again. Yeah. <laughs> is, I mean, you could. <laughs> it seems that I can, yeah. Interesting, yeah. right? So now we've got All new characters. All the chances of doing that again. Oh, oh, Wayne. Ooh, tempting. Um, all right, so we're now going to the plot phase of the next turn. Um, we get our cards back in our hands. Order cards. And someone has a plot ability. I do, and it's a good one. I get to steal a coin from you. I'm just going to actually take it myself because it's... I know you like to hand deliver it, Chris, but... I do like to hand deliver it. I also like to steal it. I will hand deliver it. <laughs> Technically, I, Chris, I'll just point out it says take one coin from each other guild, so I get to do the taking. Oh, no, we both we both got to. It's fine. <laughs> um, so right. I also that, have a plot ability. Yeah. Um, you may take one fame from the guild with the most fame and give it to the guild with the least fame. Uh, but I do have the most fame, so I won't be using that this round. Yeah, it's a fizzler, but it'll possibly come good, in handy. Good to know for the future. It is, and it helps me to understand that I should lurk just behind you on the fame track the whole game. Yeah. And build trajectory instead of doing that, maybe. Yeah, you can try. <laughs> we'll both be trying to do that now. You have all the trajectory now. Okay, so that leaves me with 10 coin. And Chris with... I now have 8. 8, which is still not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Hmm. All right, so now we go... We're finished plot abilities, and we go to the planning phase again. We want to flip our boards back down, Chris. Yep. And... This is interesting. So builders are really cheap. You've got lots of adventurers and you have no capacity to use them. So I'm certain you will go for builders. I just don't know which slot. Yep. And when you do go for them, you'll send a hefty team there. We have two adventurers in one team. I can roll, if I use spirit, up to six dice.
I am ready when you are. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's reveal. Ooh, cheeky. Both going for four. I suspected you might do that. So builders might be the obvious play, but um, I have the exact amount I need to recruit Nuri, uh, the hero, which you can't recruit because you don't have any adepts. That's right. So I'm safe doing that later. Yep. And Nuri has um, some Guile, which I can add to my one adventure with Guile so I can do some of these Guile contracts on the board. Um, and good. also some logic, which works well with me. So good. next round, even if we both complete a contract, there's still going to be a lot of Guile on the board, so I need something to deal with that. So I think going for Nuri um, was a good play here. I agree. I agree. And I'd say the... Uh... Inspect builders count contract will still be out, so we can always get cheaper builders next turn. Exactly. I am surprised though. I thought you'd go for there at least one of your orders, but yeah, I, I suspected it was going to be either that or one of these two guys. Yeah. Um, oh, it could only be one of them. As I had eight coin, not the ten needed for Khalid, but I think Nori still. No, it's a full moon, so you could have done either. Oh, right, yeah. Have you got the, enough money for Nuri? Uh, no, actually, it should have been Khalid. Okay, that's go, fine. Go for Khalid. That's fine. Sure. Okay. Yeah. We're tied. Kickstarter tied. Yeah, we are very tied. <laughs> that's cool. Khalid's still good. He is fantastic. Okay, so we're both going four. Um, yep. You got two dice versus six. I've got three dice versus ten. It gets interesting yep. here. So. Um, this is where things get a little bit spicy. Even in two players, we have to agree whether we're going to cooperate on this contract or um, conflict with each other to attempt it first or maybe attempt it head-to-head -head and winner takes all. Um, yep. So this is how it breaks down. I've got three dice versus ten, but I have two re-rolls. Um, if I was to select to conflict, my difficulty number would go up from 10 plus my three dice to 13. Uh, that's a bit of a long shot with three dice. Um, Chris as well, if he's gonna conflict with his two dice, uh, you know, it's gonna take him up to eight on two dice. And two dice, no re-rolls, no fixing. No re-rolls, no fixing, so he's got like a 42% 40, chance of getting that. Yep. Um, with my two rerolls, there's a lot of luck required there. I have two shots at pushing to 13. Um, so we've both got to decide what to do now. We can take these into our these markers into our hands, put them on the flip side. If we do both cooperate, we would probably um, either agree or just decide whoever wins by the highest margin over their score would get the lion's share of the coin and take the rest of the deal. I think I have decent odds to complete it myself, but if you want to cooperate, I'll do it for all the coin. You can have the ability and all the card. All the coin. All, all the coin, it. you get the ability and the card. Uh, I'll give you two coins. I'll keep the one coin and the ability because there's only one coin out of there anyway. And I could guarantee that I'd take the coin instead of pinging you for fame. Then we get two coin each, basically. Makes it 50-50. Yeah, but do I want 50-50? I don't know. I mean, you're, you already stole a coin from me this round. Right, and I will continue to do that throughout the game. Yes, you will. <laughs> I'll do it for three coin. All right. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, drop it on the card. Yep. One, two, three, go. And I was fully expecting that. And yeah. I'm happy to wander with six dice instead. Yes. But so, you could fail, and that would be good for me too. Yeah. So as you can see, Chris has built a team here where the primary thing he's doing is going for that contract, but as a backup, if he misses out, he still gets to go wandering for six, which might be attempting a private contract or just getting lots of coin and fame. Yep. So, uh, okay, I've got three dice, needing 13. There you go, 611. And here's where I love the two re-rolls. You get to re-roll twice. Five... 13. Jeez. Booyah. Exactly. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so I could attempt a private contract here. Um, my private contract doesn't have a skill which matches, so I will wander with six dice instead. All right. Just to be clear, before you do that wandering, I've used Druv, yep. so I'm going to get a total of five coins, two fame, and another coin from performing the magic show. So Very nice. six coins and two fame, I'll go and sort that out. Sure. All right, wandering with six dice. Turn one into a six. So give me 10, 26, which gives me two coin, two fame. All right. Order space two, you're recruiting adventurer A, I'm recruiting adventurer E. Paying this the baseline of six. I figured if you were gonna go for an adventurer, you would go for a more expensive one. Yep. Even though you know the power of a Wayne. All right, so I'm getting a Wayne. I'll show you his power. Uh, everyone, this is a Wayne. He has two arcane, three charm, every single turn in the action phase. If I roll the exact amount needed to complete a contract, like what I just did with the 13, I double the coin reward that I get. So I'd be hoping to try and arrange things so that I could pull this off two or three times in the game, ideally with a legendary contract so I could get like 14 to 16 coin or something like that, which is the sort of thing that makes a big difference in the game. Yep. So welcome to the team, Owain. And he, he meshes pretty well with my uh, existing skills. So I've really built up a, a solid solid team offering here. Yeah, quite good. Yeah. Uh, and he gets and I got three fame as well. Yep. Oh, I gave you your fame. I, I did? Okay, yep. cool. Thanks. Yeah. And I got Khalid. Uh, plot phase ability on Blood Moons. I can spend seven coins to recruit and add it from the discard pile. Which is fantastic. Um, yeah. So it's a free recruiting action. A little pricey, but it's for free. Uh, free in terms of don't have action. to use an order space for it. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, for this plot phase, all this Blood Moon coming up, I don't have the money and there's no adepts in the discard pile anyway but round six and nine i'll get to use him yes just need to make sure that i have enough money to unless both of us buy adepts this round <laughs> that's true um, which means you don't want to buy an adept but that's probably all you can afford yep interesting okay okay end of the round uh you also completed uh, contract four. So yeah, so which contract I to draw. think I'm going to stay with the commons. Yep. Hello, ho guy. Oh, look who this is. I wonder who this handsome fellow is. Oh, who's this handsome fellow? <laughs> so that's that, nice that, pose he's doing there. That's Chris. And these guns are accurate. <laughs> <laughs> and this was Kim, but um, he actually actually posed for this card. Uh, and the face used to look like him, but we changed it a little bit. We changed it a little bit. It's it's Kim in spirit. That's we right. know it's Kim. Yeah, that's right. My daughter actually picked this one because apparently I do this gesture when I'm thinking about stuff. She went, "Dad, is that is that is that you? Um, <laughs> how did you tell? I, I yeah, funny. Yeah, it's a okay. fun story." Both of those guys are good, but better for you than me. Still. Interesting. This is all really good for you. All these guys. Very interesting. Okay, but you didn't... Uh, when you got... I can't remember what skills did um, Khalid have. Logic. Uh, logic and Arcane. All right, so you didn't get the guile that you were hoping to do to get this kind of stuff. So... We still have the event on the board. Um, we're moving the, it's now a half blood moon. So half moon ability is going to trigger again. So you get to use your Nairi ability if you want. And yep. this is still active. Uh, I didn't remember to get my income at the end of the turn. Did you get yours? I'm getting it now, just waiting for you. So that's pretty much everything from turn two. We've moved everything on. We reset builders. Everything's face flip face up. And we're ready to go on to turn three, and it's now the plot phase. I have no plot abilities. Do you? 
I still have Alyssa, and it's still not worth using. Okay. Yeah. You sure you don't All want right. to help me out? No, I'm good. But if you help me out and put me in the lead, then you can get to use Alyssa on me later. Uh, that is true. Or I could just uh, focus on trajectory and hope that you get ahead. Okay. Well, not hope that you get ahead, but if you do, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So you got to look at this. Um, something we also get at the beginning of this turn, Chris, is a new... Private contract. Private contract. So maybe I'll look at the one I've got, and then I'll draw another one. So just just to check this in, at the beginning of every Blood Moon round, everyone, you get a new private contract. You just draw a common card off the top, always a common, and then that's a new private contract that you can do if you miss out on something. All right, so Chris, how much money do you have? I have five. And I have 14. So I'm rich, and I figured that my thievery and the bar too early would get me in this position where I had a lot more money. That's not surprising. Yeah, so half moon, Chris can really only afford to buy himself as an adventurer. I'm not sure that he would want to do that because it's not really great for him. I mean, you've got a little bit of might, so it builds on that. There's always hubris, I suppose, but... There is that. Um, Can't discount the hubris. Yeah, but I, you know, it'd be nice for me if I owned you, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't own him. Recruit him. <laughs> I mean, I'm basically working for you now, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I am ready. Pretty sure I'm ready to. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I suspected to go for builders. I pretty much did exactly what I thought you'd do with six. Yeah, so it's going to be tough, all right? So you've gone for builders. I've gone for builders. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put the order card down. This guy's yeah, got go ahead. eight on it, so it's clearly Adventure D. Sorry, who costs? Do you have money on your builders? Eight. Yeah, there's six six on there. There should be six on there. Where's it gone? Under a wine? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Things got stuck together. Thank you, Tabletop. Yeah. All right. So how many dice do you have? Five? Five and two rerolls. Okay. I have six and a fixer. All right. So because we've both gone to builders at the same time, everyone, we have to establish priority about who gets to hire builders first. And we do that by head-to-head -head dice roll in our best skill. So I've got five dice with two rerolls. Chris has six with a fixer. Um, so let's see what happens. Five dice. I'm up against it here. Yep. Two rerolls. All right, that didn't do much. I'm lucky. Ten. I'm at twenty. Sixteen. Twenty-one. 
All right, you win. 26, yep. So you get to buy first. Yep, and because this contract is still out, builders are still one cheaper, so I can buy two of them for four. Very efficient. Which I will do. If I did not go first then, I wouldn't have been able to afford two, so that was very fortunate. And it was a, yeah, I was hoping to just beat you to it and push you out there. Right, yeah. Luckily, because they're cheaper, that means I can still afford to buy a two, one, one, two. So I pay so a total of six, which is what I have. That was what I was hoping to do. Yeah. Uh, so now I have an interesting choice. Um, so I can either get the stables for two builders, and right now I have six adventurers, so I can utilize the, the stables, be able to do three things every round, which is always useful. Uh, but if I got the mess hall and a, a small upgrade, uh, then I could add uh, two dice to my logic skill and three dice to my spirit. Um, make me quite powerful in both of those. It certainly would. But I think I might go with stables for now. I too am going for stables. Because I don't think I need that extra power right now. That gives us both three fame. Okay, now you're recruiting adventurer D. Yep, for eight. Yep. Giving you even better um, guile and some decent logic just with one adventurer. Yeah, very decent logic. Yeah. Not only that, she gives all my novices plus one logic. So in theory... So with just one novice, you'll have five in logic. That's right. If you upgrade your mess, or you could get six in logic, um, which is what I have at the moment. Yep, so I'm not far behind you. Kind so of that was a very aggressive move. Yeah. Um, but while you were doing that, I'm attempting contract four. Mm -hmm. Sorry, contract two with yeah. six dice. Yeah. Um, no small upgrade for uh, logic, so it's just six dice versus seventeen. Go for it. Pretty decent odds here. Yep. All right. Let's do it. I thought you rolled all ones then for a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ten. 18, 22, yeah. very good. So it gives me five coin and five fame. Excellent. I didn't put my four, four fame up, unless you did me for the adventurer? Uh, no, I didn't. You did us both for the upgrade? Yes. Before. Yep. yep. Okay, so I'm still trailing you. So there was also that thing there where if any of us were going to go for the stables, it gives you just that, and the other one didn't. It gives you that extra action a turn, which is, I think you can wear it for a turn, but you don't want to wear it for more than a turn because just even the action of having to go and get a builder on a turn when yep. somebody already has three orders, you're giving one of your orders, so you kind of, when you're on two, you kind of feel like you've only got one order that turn and the other person's doing three useful things. And so you don't want to fall too, be too far behind with, with those kind of orders. Yep. Okay. So end of the round, and it's Blood Moon round, so everything that's face up on the board gets discarded. I'm Contracts get and adventurers. Income of four. Get my income of two. So any contracts on the board um, that are discarded are replaced with commons. Yep, that's what we're doing there. Now I can reveal everything. Reset builders of the round track forward. Builders gets reset to here, remember? Two players. Ah, yes, two players. So it's a full moon. Interesting. Let's have a closer look here. Well, that's not good for any of us, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> yep. No one's that good in my... No. And then we'll stick around for a few turns, unless we can recruit somebody with good might, and there ain't nobody with good might. So <laughs> that's going to stick around for a while. Uh, this is good for you. This is good for you and me. 
this is good for you and me. So lots of contests coming up here, I think. Mm. Lots of shenanigans. Okay. Full right. moon plot yep. abilities. Plot abilities. Uh, you go first because you're high in fame. Sure. Uh, so have Alyssa and I'm good. All right. I'll use it ish to take the one coin. There so you I'm, go. I'm on five and you're on seven. Yeah. Right? No, I've ready. Ready to give you that yeah. coin. Handle with it as usual. Uh, all right. It's a full moon. Five and seven. So you could get Wooji this turn. Wooji's pretty awesome for you. Yep. Damn, I can't get Wooji. Can't get no Wooji. Luckily, neither of us can afford Nezrin. Wooji is doubly good for me. His skills, I can use both of them, but I can also move an adventurer from my first space to my second space. And because I have adventurers with logic and spirit already, I could use one for logic and then put on my second space for spirit. Yeah, it's good combos. Very good. Very powerful. And you have five coin and I have seven, so I can afford him and I know that you can't. So yep. I can very safely go for him on my third order space. You could. I'm good. I want to hide your board too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. All right, let's do it. Okay. Cool. This is, should be a very good round for me. All right, so order space one, we are conflicting on contract three. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going with three dice against six, and I have six dice against ten. All right, so if you're going to conflict, your difficulty number will go up to 16 with six dice. Still quite yep. doable, given that uh, your average roll is 21 with that. Um, mine's pretty doable as well, though. So three dice versus six with two rerolls. Um, and two rerolls, yeah. I may or may not need them, so probably looking at maybe an average of 12 or 13 for me, which is about seven over the 
six I need, but if I buy, oh, nine, if, if I can conflict. flick, then I'm yeah. up to nine, so I'm only three or four over. You've got rerolls? No, you don't. No, I don't. So it's actually quite a tight contest there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know what I'm going to do. Why? Didn't even try negotiating. Wonder what you're gonna do. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, go. You can go for it. Is your token there? Yeah, I dropped it. Can you not see? All right. I can't see it, but I'm gonna assume that's. It's a. Cooperate. I'll cooperate. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So I have six dice. Mm-hmm. I'm going for ten. Or well, going for sixteen. Alright, 10, 16, 20. So you got four so I over. Mm. Yep. I could have possibly done it. Instead, because private you, contract. you did that, I've got a sweet private contract here. Nice. I'll go for. Uh, so I'll get my three coin. With little risk to me. So I'm just going to roll my three dice because I'm not conflicting. For my bonus, I'm going to gain one coin. Okay, I got two, one, two. So I've got two rerolls. One. So nine. Okay, now here's the long shot. I've got enough to succeed, and I've got nine. I've got one more reroll, and everyone, I've got Druv. Ah, oh, that's no, if he completes a loan. I've got a Wayne. If my guild rolls the exact amount needed to complete a contract, I can double so the reward. So you can re-roll it twice, you so get a one. I've already re-rolled one. Ah, okay, so one in six chance of getting a one. One in six chance, ready? Here's the one. Ready, Chris? Ready for it? Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Ah, uh, this guy. So what's yes. that? Six coin for you now? <laughs> six plus Drub's extra two. What a bonanza. That's legendary levels of money. <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> uh, love you Owain yes those stacked dice uh huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah I feel like that was a lot better for, for you and you didn't even go for the thing you were going for in the end yeah alright yeah. so I also get two fame out of that mustn't forget and um, I can use this as a boon later on when I'm replacing a contract I can discard this contract to draw two new ones and look yep. at both. Choose one from. I drew a legendary to recruit con uh, to replace contract three. Did you now? I did. That's aggressive. Yeah, I'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay. Second order space. I'm going for contract one. I have three dice to get seven. I can. Yeah. Well, that will do it. Cool. Uh, and I was going with Soleil, so I get four coin. And I can put a neutral dice on this and add it to a spirit. Four. Not bad. Pretty good. That's Solid. All. Yeah. It's a lot better than rolling a one. I also get two fame. All right. Cool. And I'm going for contract four with five dice against ten. Yep. No rerolls. Just the raw muscle. This is where you get ones. No, still great luck. Okay, so I get three money. Two fame. And I get another power. I can gain one coin, which is a guild to lose one fame. At this point, five... I feel like you're pretty good for coin at the moment. <laughs> 14, I'm going to get another 4. And I'm going to get more from my third order, which is another wonder. Uh, so, yeah, I think I will ping you for a fame. Sure. The thing with that is... Uh, 
Elissa here is making me think, is there any point doing that? Because the closer I get to you, the more likely it is you'll get to use her ability anyway. I'm better off building trajectory. Yeah, so, but you can see I'm getting Adventure E and you're wandering, so it's going to put me even further ahead now anyway. True. This round anyway. I'm still a bit doubtful about that, but anyway, let's say I'll do that. Okay, sure. now we're up to Order 3. So I will get Uji and for fame. And I will wander for the treasure map. So I'm going for five dice versus eight. Easy. Yeah. So three dice, three coins, I should say. To fame. And another boon. And replacing the contract, I can discard this contract to draw two contracts. So I'm going to get to exercise a little bit more control over the end game contracts that come out, which is interesting given that there's only four spaces on the board to go for. They're potentially a little bit more powerful in two players, would you say? Yeah. But we also get to draw contract four now. We're also quite overlapped. That's true. Uh, wasn't that a private contract I did? Yeah, right. but you still did four before then. All right. I will, in fact, use one of those now. I'm going to discard Predict the Weather. Yep. And I get to look at one first. Is that right? Uh, da -da -da. You get to look at two. Choose one to place and discard the other. You just draw it to your hand. Hmm. Both interesting. And one gets discarded. Yep. Oh, that would be okay. nice for me. Would have. <laughs> okay, end of round. Income for me. Four for me as well. It's the round token. No one got builders. Flip the contracts. Ah, uh, two events. Do some accounting here. Yep. Ooh, that is, this is not a, not a good event for you. I don't want to hear that. So, so the, well, first event we have perform for the Mad King, my favorite contract. Um, so this contract can be attempted with any skill. You need to get a twenty-four or more. And when you complete this contract, uh, do not take or replace it, um, which basically means that it just stays on the board. You can attempt it once in a round, and so can everyone else, and it will get discarded at the end of the Blood Moon. So they'll be there for the next two rounds. Yep. And then we have to deliver an ultimatum to the Mad King. At the end of the action phase, each guild loses one fame per five coin in their guild. Hmm. And you have a lot more coin than I do. I do. I'll find ways to spend that, I'm pretty sure. Um, no other events. We've got this one, Pass the Tower Guard. This one's really good for you. But only if you're behind me in fame, so not so good for you. This one's pretty doable for you now, I think. Yep. With what you've got. So I can rely on you going there at least once in a turn. Why wouldn't you? This one's not doable for you, to my knowledge. It's not even doable for me, and I've got some charm. <laughs> You're killing me with the legendaries. Even this one's not doable for you. So this is very interesting. We've got three orders each, and not much we can go for. This is actually doable for you, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, you've moved the round forward. Yep. So any half moon abilities? Uh, still Alyssa. Still can't use her. Well, I can, but I won't. 
All right, and money check. I've got 23. I have 10. Mm, so you do not have enough to buy Nazrin. I could use Alyssa if you gave me three coin. <laughs> yeah. Three coin for a two fame swing, and we're losing coin for money anyway. Yeah, as sweet as that sounds. I much prefer the idea of being able to buy a Nezrin myself. That's fair enough. And that would give me a lot of logic to take you on in logic. And I don't want you to get Nezrin because then you'll be able to stop me stealing your money. Yep. Would be nice. I'm a bit short. I wouldn't have said you were short, but anyway. Well, I'll be short of getting Nezrin. I need exactly three coins. Interesting. So 23 versus 10. I am suddenly quite rich. Okay, I am ready. I left a auto card down here. Sorry, where'd I leave it? Down here? Gotcha. ready. Cool. Me too. Ooh, spicy. Yeah. I think you got out a bit better. But I was doing a lot, of, a, lot of a lot of shuffling around here. All right. Order one. I will get two builders. Although I can't afford three, I desperately need this mess hall. To better utilize spirit and logic. Two builders gets us to here, right? From here, one, two. Yep, yep, my bad. Me three fame. And I, ahead of you, am attempting contract four with five dice. 
So as we can see here, contract four, needing 14, five dice. I have re-rolls, I have the booster, should be good. Maybe your luck will run out. I don't Not know, today. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that, yeah. Oops. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So I'm gonna get five coins, four fame, and I gain one coin and one fame for each guild with more fame than you. So I'm gonna get six coin and five. Six fame. Five fame, right? 28 and six Two. coin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Autos, Autospace 2, I'm getting Adventure D, Inagar the Heretic. I will be attempting Contract 4, which is gone. Uh, which contract would you like to draw? Mm. I have to go Heroic. This, this yep. legendary madness has got to stop. I'll be attempting my private contract. I have six dice to get eight. Easy peasy. Now I overpaid, just so everyone knows here, um, just, just to show everyone. Yep. Uh, I overpaid just in case you were going there with enough money. Yep. To do that. And you get four fame. I should get four fame, thank Putting you. Putting us both on 32. All right, last order you going for builders. Um, I should remember Nuri's ability, which I haven't been remembering so far. Last order I'm going for builders, so what do they cost now? They cost four each, I could afford to buy three, I believe. Yep. Which I feel I... Money... All right, so I can afford to buy three. I will buy three no matter what. So let's get rid of the 12. So do I go for stables three? Four orders, spreads me pretty thin. I think I should, I'm gonna do it. All right. That gives you five fame. Thank you. And I'm going for contract one. I have seven dice to get 24 with one fixer. All right. That was a good roll. What'd you get? Uh, two sixes, three fives, a four and a three. That'll nice. do it. All right, so I don't get the card, but I do get a fame, same as you. And five coin. Very nice. Okay, that's the end of round five. We're both mm -hmm. on 37. So at the end of the action phase, something happens, or is that gone? No, no, it is still there. So All for right. every five coin, we lose a fame. All right, I have six coin. How many do you have? Actually, this is fine with me. I have 12 coins, so I lose two. You lose one. And you get to use Alyssa's ability finally. Uh-huh. Finally. And have, and have that extra coin. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Cool. All right. Uh, then we get income. Yep. I get four. You still on two? I'm still on two. Okay. All right, it's plot phase. Oh, plot phase it's still your re first. Resetting first. Each gets everything reset. Got everything yeah, out. All, all right. done. We get a new common private contract each. Yep. Which for me is pretty fine. And for me, is not. 
unfortunate, but not a big deal. Mine is extra good, actually. That is exactly what I need in my current circumstances. Good pull. All right. Um, okay. Plot phase abilities then? Yep. Do you have any? Steal a coin, I believe. All right. Here is a coin. Thank you very much. It's gone invisible. There it is. All right. So that leaves me on 11 and you on? Uh, let's see. Uh, 13. 13, okay. That's good. Ah, oh, similar one again. All right, interesting. Okay, and I will use Elisa. My plot ability. He was one fame. I gained one fame. Cool. You said you had 11 coin yet? I do. Cool. Not enough for Nezrin, sadly. You, however, do. But are you going to go there? Uh, it's, it's a half moon. You have exactly enough for Nezrin. It's a full moon, right? Sorry, full moon. Yeah, yeah. 11. Well, not with you going for there for 13, right? Oh, I might be. You might. You might. Mad King. Yeah, you get the extra fame. I lose things. You still get it back through Alyssa. That's a good little combo for you. Oh, actually, I have another ability. Oh, yeah? Another plot ability. Khalid plot phase. I can recruit an adept from the discard pile. Ooh. For seven coin. Who we got there? And then you get your second chance at Hubris. Yeah. Interesting choice, because if I do get one, then I can't afford Nezrin. Yep. And I can. Uh -huh. so, so this matters a lot. So do you get to use that free ability, that extraction, and give me certainty? Or not? Yeah, interesting choice. 13 money. Leaves you with 6. Still be enough to get somebody else. We could recruit either one of these guys. I think I will actually. All right. Gives me another action to sub seven. No, get me. <laughs> Owned. All right. Gives me three fame too. So lose you with six money. Yep. And it's a full moon Nairi's abilities off, right? Uh, no. it's on. Moon. Isn't she, she half is... moon? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, it is off. She's half moon. Mm. Okay. So good choices, Ezrin. Any of the heroes. Or overbid for any of these guys to block you getting them. Sorry, just have to do this. Hello, yeah. Don't be. Yar is fun. 
she's another good trainer. So we've got the same thing, Mad King's still around. Deliver the ultimatum to the Mad King for charm. The indefensible defend builder's cap. <laughs> so good though. Did you recruit any might last time? Oh, you've got might. I do. How many might do you have now? Five. Five. Which uh, is kind of risky for doing that one. It's very risky. Six, risky is, six is average and five's a long shot. But you could get builders and get yourself a fixer. Do you have any potions that on might? Any, nope. any like extra dice? Hmm. Nah. Still, that's a good one. Two free builders is always good. So I have to remember this turn I have four orders, but I'm pretty thinly spread across them all. I have to say, to be fair. Okay, I think I'm ready. Hmm, got a few tricky choices here. Hmm. Six money left, right? money do you have? Um, 11.
Yeah. I believe I'm good. Okay. Oh. Yep. Interesting. So you yeah. Beat to, you beat me to four. And one stays on there anyway, so we're good there. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't go for Nezrin because those are my two skills and I'm always going to overpower you there. And you just didn't want me to have that ability. It's not really that great for you. Hmm. Okay, cool. So you're going for contract three first. Um, actually, I was thinking maybe I should just wander, which is a very odd thing to do. But with five dice, I have no choice. I can't make 26. I mean, I could, but I'm just going to wander. So just a wandering roll? Yep. Oh, I nearly made it. Look at that. 23. Close. Okay, so I get two coin, two fame. And you're going to four? Yep. And I have... Seven dice. And two rerolls. That aren't needed. Okay, so I get four fame. Five coin. And the effect doesn't apply to me. Okay, all space two. I'm you going to replace that with. Uh, I will go with a legendary. Oh, actually, Ouch. I will discard this common to look at two. Discard this. Chuck this down. All right, builders, I have six coin and I can afford two. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Would have been pretty horrible if you went there, but I could have done one of my private contracts. Yeah, it was definitely one of my options. Okay, so with my two builders, I'll get the mess hall three. Ooh, strong. I'm going to get out muscled everywhere. Yeah. Wherever and I can clash. utilize it for logic and spirit, so I'm pretty great in logic and spirit now. Yeah. And three more fame for that. Okay, order two, I'm going six dice to perform for the Mad King, leaving 24. A bit long odds, but I've got the rerolls. If yep. worst comes to worst, I've got the plus six as well if I really need it. So it's yeah. six, six dice. Uh, look at that, two ones. So five, 10, 21. So I'll need to add the six in if I want it. Just triple checking that. 5, 10, 18, 21. So if I add the 16, I get it. Yeah. So I, I will do because I need that fame and money. So discard the potion. Yep. Oh, this should be discarded too. Um, so 5 fame up to 42 and 5 income. Alright. Odd space 3. Venture E for you. Yeah, so Tahira. For fame, you want 46. And I'm going for contract one with 10 dice. And with a fixer, yeah, easy. Got it? Yep. Five and five. Cool. 10 dice, starting to scare me, Chris. Okay, I'll go order four. Yep. Which is gone, so I'm gonna go wandering for finding a missing person. Can choose an adept deck. And it'll be this one, which costs four. I can recruit this bottom card of the deck. I'll just show everybody that skill. Did you complete the contract yet? Oh sorry. Jumping <laughs> time. Four dice versus the contract. 
um, f actually five dice because I've got what's he? Sure. Um, Nuri. Yep. Plus one logic. Roll. There you go. This is twelve. So uh, it's this adventurer, and I can recruit them. Yeah, sure. I'll have Zenobia for four. And I'll just show everybody that ability. You can immediately recruit that edit for its current cost with coin from your treasury or discard it. Now it's, I chose it from the bottom of the this pile because it was four. Pretty much, you, if you're going to grab an adept, you'll probably always choose that pile if there's any yeah. left. I just but gave you your four fame. Thank you. And it's only three fame I get for her. Plus the oh, one. Oh, four. That's right. And yep. three money. And. Contract three is still on the board, so end of the action phase, we lose a fame for every five coin. And I have... Um, I lose two. I lose I two can. as well. I lose two, two. All right, doing, 48 doing... and 49. Are you ahead of me? By one. Yay. Sorry, Alyssa. <laughs> We both got the exact same amount of fame that round. All right, but I've All right. Up, got more, some more characters, which is good. Income. Four for me. And this is a blood moon, so everything on the board is discarded. Everything face up. Goodbye, Mad King. You were good. Always like the Mad King. Yeah. Round seven. So you're ahead, you get to use plot abilities first. You're ahead in fame. Yep. And I have nothing I want to use. All right, I have Tahira, who can draw three contracts from one deck, discard one of them, and place the rest back on top in any order. Surprise, surprise. So this is what I could put on top. Hmm. Many bad options here. Put one on top and discard the rest, is that right? Yep. yep. Go away, we don't like you. Ah, uh, you dropped one here. Not for me. We're at the point now we're also wondering what we're each going to go for in terms of cool stuff. Yep. Um, how much money do you have now? It's a plot phase, right? So I should see your board. Right, one how many, second. How many contracts do you have? Not many. It's quite a low contract you game. Two players. I have 12. 16. 16 for me, 12 for you. And we have yep. Akram. Damn it. At least you can't afford to buy in this turn. Not this turn. He's pretty solid for me, I have to say. Yeah. Just skills wise. Possibly worth the denial. Skills wise, he's not bad for me either. Okay, any events? 
there is ignore, an event. Ignore all adventurer abilities. That means I couldn't have done. We weren't paying attention, Chris. Uh, so that ability and these two cards, I weren't, wasn't allowed to use her because that right. switched off. We could just shuffle her back into the deck. Uh, I I'll, just... put, I'll put them on top. Yeah. Um, but we should know what they are. All right, we'll shuffle them into the deck. I'll let you do it. Shuffle, shuffle. Damn. All right. So no adventure abilities while that's out. Yep. And that's brutal. So what does that kill for us? Stops a bunch of my stuff. My novices don't get better. Nuri doesn't work. Inigo doesn't work. That nerfed my team pretty healthily. Owain doesn't work. How much arcane do you have again? Six? Uh, nine. Nine, okay. So you can go for four. However, you know that I have a mess all four and two very big teams. I can go for either logic or spirit. How much coin did you have again? Uh, 12. 12, right. 12 versus 16. Okay, I am ready.
Hey, look at that. We just hit our stretch goal. Ooh. Good news. Yeah, so we have just unlocked Sigrid the Enchanter and Dante the Inquisitor. Excellent. Yeah. Both very fun adventurers. been a very close game. Mm. As per usual with you. It's been a while since we've got, gotten to play a game together, so this has been good. Yeah, definitely. Nearly, nearly. Let me just triple check. Always yep. good to triple check. See, I forgot something. Yep, done. Cool. Tricky one with four orders. Ah, oh, damn. Ooh, I'll beat you to the punch. Uh huh. So suspected you might be gunning for them. Ansel is quite good for me. Yeah. Limit breaker on logic. Yeah, and so this is what I'm trying to do is just get in your face. And that's why I was changing a lot of stuff around. I originally had him as third and Yeah. Um, figured it'd be good to get Very in. Very good. Okay, All so right, you, builders, you're up. Builders, I'm gonna hire one, two. I've got eight though, but I can't afford it. So I'm just paying the six for two. So I don't know what I'm doing there. Okay. To, I'm going to buy the missile. Very nice. And it's about time we got some more rerolls here, Chris. Figure I probably need some charmy rerolls, given what's going to happen this turn. I think I'm going to go continue with my mm, six to a six. Gives me a few more possibilities of getting the exact right score, though, with a Wayne. Yeah. I'll try that this time. Okay, that gives you three fame. What do you want? 52. Uh, I could have used the list of this round if it went for this nether portal, knowing uh -huh. all of your abilities. Yeah. That's a shame. But I'm going to go seal it now. I have 10 dice to get 28. Okay. This two rerolls. Big, big gain for you. Ooh, Ooh there's a lot of Two rerolls. All right. 10. Okay, so you still got your plus 5 out of the two rerolls. 28. Yeah. 28? Ah, oh, I just made it. Oh, I think it's it was a bit more. No, oh, a bit more. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, so that gives me a nice 8 fame. Ooh, my abilities turn back on. They do. Does that matter? No. An 8 coin. Very good. Okay, order space two. You are recruiting Ansel. Mm -hmm. I 
okay, plus no, def God. definitely eight, wasn't it? Yeah, I got that right. And I'm going for contract one. I have nine dice to get nine. I'm just going to take that. So Ansel gives you four fame, putting you on 56. Mm -hmm. And I get three fame, putting me on 59. Oh, you sealed the portal as well. Do you want to take that? I did seal the portal as well. Um, and I get two coin for that. And I can choose a guild to lose one fame. Well, I choose you. <laughs> Nicely done. Yep. All right. How do you want to replace? Space. How do you want to replace oh, yes. one there? Uh, no surprises. Legendary. Then. And four. Also legendary. So you'll be using to here in next round. So I'll draw as many legendaries as I can now. Just in case it matters, it should have been the other way around because you replace the first one first. I know. Oh, final, right. Whatever. Yeah. And yeah, they both had anyway. But yeah, and there might be a sequence thing. That's okay. true. That's true. Okay. So D's gone for me, so I'll be wondering while you are doing contract two. Now unfortunately I only have diary here with two dice and I can't do either of my private contracts. So you just do uh, one gold wonder. <laughs> well I have two dice and two rerolls, so I could ah, get two no more. That's true. You could. Let's see. Done. Eleven. Alright, excellent. And I've got ooh, only ten. To track the wild boar. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna get two money. Three fame. I'm gonna ping you for fame. Yep. But this is going to put me ahead, which is sad, but whatever. Are oh, you going to be ahead anyway? That's right. On contract three. That's right. So contract three in my fourth order space. First of all, I'm going to re replace that with a heroic. Contract three, fourth order space. Going for seven with five dice, I think. Five dice. Again, going for heroic. Cool. And I'm going to get two coins for that. And I'm going to roll. Where'd you? I'm going to roll this dice into it. Ready? There. Go. Oh, four is solid. Four is good. Solid four. And uh, I got two fame for that too. Yep. Putting me in the lead, giving you just enough time for Alyssa to do a thing. Very nice. Okay. End of the round. Income. Four. You have a lot of money. Four moon. I do. Finally. All right. Uh, two events. One event. Guilds cannot hire builders. That is rough. As neither of us have a prestige upgrade. Mm-hmm. Second event, at the start of the action phase, each guild that does not have at least two adventurers on the side to an order space loses three fame, which I like because you have four order spaces. Hmm. So you want to be using most of your guys. Yeah. You have three times four, though. So you want to do lots of contracts, I suppose. You want to use them as well. Yep. It's sort of important, right. I suppose. So it's a full moon. Plot phase, your first. I get to steal a coin, thank you. Here is your coin. Anything else? I am just checking. Full moon, I think. That is all. Okay, so for me, I'll use Alyssa to take a fame from you and give it to me. All right. Tight game, jeez, Chris. Very tight. You've got a few uses. That's the second Alyssa hit, is it? Yep. Okay, so it's good, good swing in there. She's matted. I just 
can't help but get in ahead of you. That's the problem. So money totals, I have uh, 11. I have 15, 20, 24. No builders either. Yeah. Brutal. I bet you love Miracle for the people, but you can't hire them. <laughs> So you have to yeah. do this because it says hire up to four builders for free. Yep. So you have to do that first. And you can because you got logic, right? You got 10 logic? I do. Hmm. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, I'm ready. This could either be a very good round or a very bad round. Ah, it's nasty.
Yeah. I believe I am done. Let me just triple check, triple check, triple check. Yep, done. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So conflict on four. Mm hmm. I am rolling. Oh, actually, before we do that, um, do you have two adventurers unassigned to order spaces? I do. There you go. Two novices. Okay. I do not, so I lose uh, three fame. Ouch. That's unexpected. Yeah, kind of needed them though. Yeah, looks like it. Ah, uh, yeah. If I if I lose one here, I lose this order space. If I lose one here, I lose that edge. Yeah, and you um, need that edge. So how many dice yeah. you got in order one? Ten. All right, and I have, I believe, nine. Because uh, I get plus one from Nuri, giving my novices plus one guile. So yep. Esh the thief. And I have two re-rolls and you don't? I have nothing like that. Okay. So, and so you've got ten dice versus 25. 25. So you can mark up to 35 is your target number with two re-rolls. Yep. It's a pretty solid chance of that. And I would need to get uh, 34 with no re-rolls. So the question is, can I totally Blitzkrieg roll against you? I feel like if your rolls for everything else is indicative of anything, <laughs> it's that you probably could. <laughs> it has no bearing on the future, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's quite possible. Okay, I have decided what I want to do. Me too. Ready? Yep. Set. And go. Go. Yep. I'm Makes just, sense. I'm just gonna, I don't think I can beat you, honestly. Hope, I, hope I can fail. Even if I pass, you get to wander instead. That's right. Okay. 10 dice, 35. Reroll one. And that's pretty solid. You got that. Easy. Yep, that's 20 right there. Yeah. 25, 30, 37, mm, yeah, 41. 41, I couldn't have beaten that. Okay. Surely not Seven. nine dice and no rerolls. Okay, so I get to go wandering with nine dice. Yep. Which will be at least, you know, not terrible. Or maybe it will be terrible. Your luck is finally running out of it on something that doesn't matter too much. 21, 24, so 2 and 2. Yeah, so I would have failed. All right, I'll give you your 2. Thank you. Okay, that's order space 1. Order space 2, you are recruiting. Yeah. Gives you 4 fame. You get Mosey. My order space two. I'm going uh, for contract. Hang on, one. hang on. No, I, did I, I misdid something then. It's meant to oh, yeah. be meant to be E because I couldn't afford him. Sorry, my bad. See, it's, That's it's fine. nine, so it's meant to be in S. Yep. You weren't going for that, were you? No. Okay. We should, You're good. I should have spotted that earlier. Sorry. That's cool. Okay, I have nine dice going for thirty now. For contract one. You did my fame, did you? I did. Thank you. Turn this into a six. I think I get it anyway. Twenty, thirty, easy. All right. This is one of my favorite contracts. I can hire up to four builders for free and use them immediately to upgrade any number of buildings. Uh, so first I'll get my two fame and seven coin. Then I'll buy four builders to upgrade my bar to a bar two, then upgrade my bar again to a bar three. Oh, solid. Giving me six coin. Cool, and then on my fourth, or, oh, sorry, my third order space, I'm going for builders, which I'll use to buy three of them for 10. And I will buy the Architect's Lodge. Nice. 
I have two level threes and a level two. Sixteen points. Yes. Sweet. It's going to be hard to hard to get that in the last round. That is this round finished for me. Okay. Uh, I've still in order slot three going for I think nine dice. Yep. I'm catching a wild unicorn. If I get it, I get a big catch up, which I was kind of assuming I would. All right. So that's 17, 21, 31, 35. Smashed it. <laughs> Seems like overkill. Yep. Okay, so just to have a look at this, I get, if I completed using Arcane, which I did, I gained two coin and two fame for each other guild with more t coins. So I'm going to get seven coin and six fame. I'll give you your six fame. Thank you. You want seven or one? I get the seven coin. So just behind you, and then again, Adventure B. Give you another three. Put you on 74. Come, I get seven now. You do, I get four. Last round, reset builder cost. Uh, what? Which contract would you like to draw for number three? Mm, let's go legendary. Okay. Three events. So we have the same event as last time, need to keep two people unassigned. Uh, guilds will receive no fame from wandering for the last round while this is out. And at the start of each round, place two coin from the general supply on each other contract. That coin is gained when you complete the contract. Ooh, okay, money. Money, money everywhere. Can't really and use every it. Every five coin is worth fame at the end of the yeah. game. So that extra money could be very useful. It's that tight that it could factor in. Although I think my, yep. my challenge here is that I, it's going to be hard to... Hard okay, to... so... Uh, half Moon Plot Abilities. Uh, first of all, it's of Blood Moon, so we just get a private contract. Yep. Okay. Which is even more useful now because we'll get nothing from Wandering. Hmm. Could be useful. Could be. So how much coin do you have, Kim? I have 13. I have 35. You are wealthy beyond accounting. Now you don't have a prestige upgrade, so if I wanted to, I could put the builder cost up, but I have nothing I can buy other than small upgrades now, so I could only put it up by one. Yeah. And you could still afford your prestige upgrade, so it's not worth doing that. So I know that you're probably going to go for builders in your fourth order. Or at least that's what I would do. This is a good board for me. Yeah, definitely. Um, do you have any plot abilities? It's a half moon, right? Yep. I believe I do.
Wow, Ines and Ansel both kick in this turn. I can take two coins from another guild. Am I ahead of you or behind? I'm ahead, so I'll take two coin things. Go. Thank you. So it puts me up to 15. So who gave you the two coin? Zenobia. Ah, very nice. And... I think that's all I got. Cool, I have Alyssa, so I will take a fame from you. Give it to me, putting us both on 73. So tight. Yep. Very interesting. I'm just going to show the watches at home why this is interesting. Sure. Well, I've already planned my turn and I won't change anything, so feel free to say whatever you want. So I've got a couple of things that allow me to um, go over the 10 cap which might surprise you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know you hired at least one, uh, which broke logic and was it guile? Yeah. No, yep. no, logic and charm. Logic and charm. And logic and charm and might and arcane. So got, got it on, on two fronts. So, and this is what, like I know you're gunning for these two yep so my question is what would you go for first i think you would think that you were safe with that and i would go for that earlier so you try and out gun me there so i'm going to go for this one first try and spam it logic as I thought I did. I thought I had eight logic taking me up to nine, but I don't, so that's that plan gone, but this one still works. Works quite well. So something to just quickly consider here is like, at this point, which of these should I be going for? <clears throat> and uh, Training Grounds is out because I don't have any legends, it's not going to be worth it. Uh, Temple of the Sun, yeah. If I manage to pull off two legendary contracts, I could get eight out of that. But I don't think that's guaranteed. Um, money, I'm not going to have that much money left. Great Hall, one for each adventurer or Moon Temple, one for each completed contract. Well, I don't have that many completed contracts, four, eight, and I'm likely to get maybe two at the most, 10. So the logical thing for me to aim for this turn would be the Great Hall, because I'm already at six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 characters, 12 adventurers. So, not bad at all. So if I can pop another one, then I'm not too far behind your 16 of the other one for not having to do anything particularly onerous to get it. Uh, so, just double checking. 
like that and then that. Gets me all the rerolls, gets me all the things. And I have to be able to afford three adventurers, three builders. And I have 15, which pretty Oh, sorry, I forgot to do my plot ability. What affects you anyway? Yep. Oh, Khalid, I can pay three, seven coins to recruit an adept. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'll do that. Get the fame. Yeah. From the discard, and ooh, I will take you. What does he do? The deer. Um, turn the dice in, uh, logic dice into a four, or re-roll it. Okay, it's pretty solid. Yeah, three fame. That could be what wins me the game. That it three fame. It's be. that close. It is. Lots going to come down on what you programmed. This is what I did. Yep. Uh, me three builders that's so 11. Now you can literally only buy one thing right? Do you have any abilities that I can see that allow you to buy two things this turn? For builders? Yeah can you have you got any like b b boons or anything that I could see? Uh, there's a boon at the top here for spirit but that's it. Okay yeah so no tricky way to go and buy two of these. Nope. But you could, and you can't buy that one because it's already filled out. All right, so I'm pretty safe. Yep. The most you could do spam-wise there is to pump that by one. So 11 is enough for me to get everything I want there. Sure. Le leaving me this. So six, 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 six. So what I'll do is these are more likely to go wandering. And I want more rerolls. In case they do. And it's a half moon. Yeah, damn it. done. All right, let's do it. Last round. Cool. Yeah, I figured I would stay away from contract one because yeah. you have the limit breaker on charm mm -hmm. and do contract two instead. I'll get uh, four less fame than you, um, but at least I don't get eight less fame than you. Yeah. All right. All right. So, cool. Go ahead. I'll go ahead with one, needing, uh, so it's, I've got 11, 12 dice, because this guy allows me to break my, both gives me an extra charm dice and breaks yep. my limit, so 12 dice. Let's just see if I even need it. I would say 10, 19, 24, 32, 34. No. Cool. I do not. Okay, so that gives me eight coin. 
and eight fame. Do you mind doing me the fame? Save a bit of time. Yep. Puts you on eighty one. And I have ten dice to get fifteen. I think that's pretty safe. <laughs> you yeah, would, you would hope so. Yeah. Okay, so I get four coin plus the two those on the card. And I get five fame. Also putting me on eighty one. Oh so close. You got the edge with me with the um Prestige upgrade. Yeah, the prestige upgrade. Okay. Okay. Order space two, you're going for three. Yep. I'm going for four. Okay, three. This could be pretty key. Well, I guess it's like a nine fame thing. So I've got again eleven, Jeez, yeah. 11 dice. Yep. Much lower target here. So twelve. Yeah, I smashed it. So it's ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty-two, thirty, many forty. Smashed it. Oops. All right, now I have ten dice going for twenty-six. Two rerolls. One and two or five and three, not bad. Uh, yeah, easy. So that gives me eight. Let me finish mine off first. Uh, Sorry, six, I assume you're taking six, three fame from me. Six coin and six fame. And uh, yeah, I hit you for three. Okay. Yep. All right. Go on. Now I get eight. Oh, 87, 86. So close, man. Uh, third order space, you're getting Adventure A. Uh -huh. And I could only afford to do that by taking a risk and only putting 10 money on builders. Yeah. And I could only do that because I stole two from you. Otherwise, I wouldn't mm -hmm. have been able to afford to buy that plus an adventurer. Yeah. So, so really, I should have bought one builder. Well, is that... Would it... well, well, that would have been enough. Would have, yeah, it would have been the spike. Yeah, yeah, it one builder would have taken away a lot. That's right. But there you go. You couldn't see through my veil. Yeah, uh, so you get A, I get D. You get three fame. I get actually I get four. Mm -hmm. Putting us both on ninety. And then, it's going to come down to prestige and coin. It is really close. All right, and I buy my prestige thing, which is kind of a null turn because you've already bought yours, but 10 coin. Yep. One, two, three builders, 10 to get me a great haul. And income at the end of the turn. Well, maybe it'll come down to income. Yep. So I end of turn, I get my seven. Which was actually perfect for me. Oh, damn it. I get four extra from income. I have 30, so I get... Oh, I think that'll win it for you, Chris. Yeah. Six. Now we do our prestige. Yeah. Go ahead and do yours. You've got 16, and I've got, I think, 13, so uh, let's have a look. 6, 12, 13. So I end up on... 6, 10, 112. 107. Yay. Nice. Five Close fame game. in a good game. <laughs> five, get, five fame, and all down to that, those last few turns. I was hoping... Yep. My, my main hope was that that one there that you might go for yeah would be a denial play and i'd win over you and that would be the that is sealed the win. yeah that's that's why i i left that to you yeah right good move good move because it just yeah. stayed out of my way still got some stuff didn't get denied and then you were able to stay those because even just those five points from how many did you get from this contract in two uh i got five five yeah so by getting that and not getting denied there you stayed ahead the five points needed to win nice play yeah, and I I thought about that you might do that, but I only had a four, four skills. Yeah, 
that wasn't really it's not really ideal for 15 especially yeah, if you're definitely. going there as well yeah good game this was also quite good for me this game um i think i triggered it three or four times yeah you did so it was six to eight fame swing just from that yep and i was trying but i had to be i had to be behind to do that but it was, worked quite well i was trying to play behind her uh i did steal a fair bit of money from you which hurt in the beginning you did that was quite yeah it hurt a lot in the beginning but yeah. i think mid game i started getting some decent income yeah lead changed i don't know how many times in that game uh i think i, I was ahead for most of the first stretch and yeah then, i think in this and stretch you were ahead here, for most of the second yeah i think we might have changed lead about six times yeah we had that sounds pretty accurate yeah so that's that's pretty cool and i felt tight all the time i felt we had different trajectories and um you know there were a few plays there trying to think about what you do yeah it was good uh, it was tight, yeah, that's very tight good. one all right yep, everyone. definitely um i hope you enjoyed that that's that's in our experience chris and i know the game very well and we find that as a two-player game even though we didn't clash a lot of the time um you know it, there were a few instances there chris where you had more dice than i did and i just sort of sat back knowing that i was pushing you to your limits by yep. um making you have to contest it and yeah or conflicted i should say and thinking that well on the off chance of a bad roll i can sweep in there and pick that thing and if not i can always do something else anyway so there's one turn where i got amigo wandering for two on a bad roll and uh, yeah but the rest of the time I think, most of the time i got to do a private contract mm. yeah that's right never fair few private contracts there yeah i wonder if i had been better off going for this one no, I think I got something good every turn there. I would have got another fame out of another builder. Uh, I've got pacify angry farmers as a private contract, okay. which I considered going for instead of. It's a nice contract. Yeah. Well, Perfect got, for your guild too. Would have got me three fame, plus that extra coin. That's a total of four fame. Which is what I got out of buying Pravat anyway. Yeah. Or whoever I bought. I think it was Prevent. Yep. So much of a muchness. Uh, I guess it could have given me a chance of rolling the exact numbers <laughs> for a way. And I only got one of those in the whole game, but still. That's true. Yeah. Um, still was very nice. Yes. And it was, it was early on too, so it gave you a good amount of coin early. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was good. We both had slightly different engines. Um, Alyssa really, really helped you. But I don't... Yep. I think she, you know, you could say that she kind of gave you the game in the end because you pinged me and gained a point. So, yeah, I mean, there were many factors, yeah. um, but she, she was, was definitely one of them. She's one of them for sure. Yeah, good. Nice one. And yeah. all that money at the end. That was good. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. And I was going to go for the Architect's Lodge to deny you if you didn't buy it that turn. I was going to do it hard and early next turn just to play denial. Yeah, I, f I figured you would yeah. eventually, so I'd get in a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah, nice played. Yeah, I mean, but the thing with go going for your Prestige upgrade early, um, it means that, especially in a two-player game, it, it meant that you just could kind of leave it till the end at your last order and not... And I think I used um, my first order space to go for that when I did buy it, that's true. I think. Yeah. Um, so using up my my best order that round, whereas you could just use up your lesser order. Yeah, it's interesting. So there are two sides to that. One with the architect's lodge, you weren't giving away your strategy really there because you couldn't really do anything more anyway. Like yeah. I, I couldn't. Actually, block no, you. I got that on my my third order space mm. when I got the fully upgraded bar. Yeah. Anyway. Well, that was a nice combo that time. We did all the building, upgrade your bar. Yeah, <laughs> and... it was like seven builders that round yeah it's a huge catch-up turn yeah so that was probably a key play for you in the whole game just locking that in really fast because i thought whoa we're neck and neck on that front i'm going to sneak in there and get it yeah and uh yeah you did it nice play thanks mm. um yeah i think that was a pretty typical game nothing really aberrant or bizarre happened there you know this yeah you pushed harder into legends than i could you took the um mess hall roots of building bigger teams earlier than i could and i had to really play catch up there and you notice very soon after you did that i went straight for mess hall three sorry yep. mess hall two so i could get teams of three and try to get nine or ten dice 
um, because I had the cat bust one of the cat busters, and I hoped to pick up yeah, another. Yeah, that helped a lot. I figured I could keep up with E with only three three dudes a team. Um, yeah. And in the end, it turned out to be the case, right? Because I was swinging with what eleven, twelve dice. Uh, yeah. And that felt good. That extra confidence, just in case. We yeah, were definitely. Against each other there. Um, I was, yeah. I was hoping to pick up someone like Zenobia earlier in the game that stole money from you. Um, yeah, that would have been quite good if you got her earlier. Yeah, and we had Magda is another one in that suite. So Mag- yep. Magda versus um, Elise is often often quite good. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so that's an interesting combo. Um, interesting. Game went for a, a little bit longer than usual, but we'll take our time and talking through things. Yeah, that's too. true. And I got to four orders pretty early, so that does take yep. a touch more time. Um, a little bit. Interesting, Akram. It kind of came out too late for you to really reap the rewards, so you didn't bother, right? And you couldn't have used, yeah. used that fourth order to great effect anyway, right? Yeah, and I think the the main reason I didn't go for Akram too was because his abilities overlap with yours, but not really too many of mine. So I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to utilize his abilities too well. It would just be, um, sorry, his skills, his skills too well. Yeah. Just just that fourth order space. Yep. And not... the extra fame, which isn't bad, but. Yeah, and in the um, end, the denial play for me was just like, well, I can already get 10 in both of those. How often am I going to be able to use that twice in a turn? Yeah. Um, so I let him let him slide, and I had the four order spaces already. But yeah, he's interesting in a three, four-player game. It allows two players to get four orders, so it allows yeah. two routes to, for players to sort of really bring it to each other at the four-order level. Yep. Um, yeah. All right. Good stuff. Cool. Well, um, I hope everyone enjoyed that. And uh, that gives you a taste of Guildmaster at two players, uh, which Chris and I certainly find to be um, a very, very tight, uh, yeah, hot, definitely. hotly contested affair. <laughs> yeah, it's always quite good. Yeah. All right. Nice one, Chris. Thanks for the game. Good stuff. No problem. See ya. Good game. See ya.